Hi everyone, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Abdullah Javed and at the time of recording this video, I'm a third year MBBS student at Sheikh Zayed. And well, I don't know how far into the future this is going to be viewed, so that's why I felt the need to mention that. Uh, Dr. Faraz reached out to me and asked if I, among other students, would have any input that I feel would be useful for students currently dealing with physiology as a subject. And I feel like most of our subjects in MBBS in general uh, you know, because he said that some of the students from the junior classes, because now we're seniors and we've dealt with that part of our lives, uh, come up to him and a lot of you might be facing problems regarding the fact that um, MBBS in general is very much of a two-edged sword or a double-edged sword. Uh, because first of all, uh, there's this requirement that we have from ourselves to become good doctors and that is and especially in the case of physiology as we grow older and move into the forward classes you're going to realize that almost the entirety of medicine depends upon physiology you're going to have to revisit your physiology concepts at each stage be it pharmacology well i can only speak for pharmacology at the moment i haven't dealt with the rest but i do have insight into that so basically physiology first there is this requirement for you to have a very good grasp of the concepts because, uh, again, you need to know that for medicine, you need to know that for surgery, you need to know that for pathology, you need to know that for pharmacology. So, there is that. But then there is this other issue which is that at the end of the day you can end up feeling like I have input karo and I am trying to take a grasp of these concepts. But I am unable to produce the kind of results I would like in my written examinations and as well as my virus. And I have been in a similar position and sometimes I do feel like I am still there. So, you know, like, like in considering that I've passed physiology, thankfully, uh, in both of my years, so I feel like I might have some helpful tips for you. So, first of all, as far as uh, the concept part of the study goes, I feel like there are a lot of students who pick either one of the two options. But I feel like personally, and I'm sure other, of, other peers of mine would be able to weigh in on this too, I can only speak for myself, uh, that you need to make sure that you're doing both. Because just passing the exam and scoring good marks is not sufficient because it is going to come back to bite you when you get into third year or fourth year or even final year. And even after your pro, for your post-graduation exams or if you have aspirations to go abroad, you are going to have to revisit your physiology concepts if you haven't uh, done your due diligence here in first and second year. And then there's the thing that I do know of some people who, were, who had very good concepts and who knew guidance from one end to the other but were unable to score well in their examinations. So this is like a balance which is somewhat hard to find but you need to look for it. So as far as concepts go, you should not abandon Guyton no matter what anyone tells you and no matter what you feel about other resources that might be available. Make sure you read Guyton and you read it well. Uh, I don't know about you guys but for us, uh, you know like the current third year students, a lot of our first two years were spent during the COVID era and uh, a lot of it was during uh, uh, you know, like with online lectures and this setup, which is not my natural comfort zone, does actually give me PTSD from, you know, flashbacks to online Bibles and online classes and stuff like that. But thank God we don't have that anymore. Let's just hope we don't have to deal with that again. So what I was saying is that uh, read Guyton. Make sure you read it thoroughly. What we learned during our COVID years was okay, as valuable as a classroom setting might be, in the end, it comes down to self-study. And you're going to become more firm in your belief about that as you pass on into the further years. Because there is simply too much content in the books for teachers to be able to spoon feed all of it to you. So you're going to want to read Guyton. What I did personally was, Masla basically pata kahan pe aata. Aapka jo second subject hota na, kisi bhi exam ke andar, or third year maybe aise ya. Ke the first exam, usually the written exam is anatomy. And that is very much justified in anatomy, especially for the second year students, it's very long. But the actual difficulty you're going to face in both of your first two years, our third year it's the same way with us, that the first exam is pharmacology, but it's the second exam that is going to bite you more during the prof. And that is because for anatomy, you guys have 10 days, 20 days, you can give an entire month before the first exam. But what happens when you have to go through the entirety of physiology in two days? You can't just take the risk of not revising everything, and to go through the entirety of Guyton in two days is an absolute nightmare, and I, would, I like to think it's impossible. So what I ended up doing was that uh, whenever I read Guyton, I would summarize each paragraph and write one singular or maybe two bullet points next to each paragraph. That way when you're going through the book again 
and uh, you know you should read it out loud you should read those bullet points out loud because uh, you know there there are different brain pathways that are being activated you know like this is me flexing my neurophysiology knowledge uh, but uh, you know you're seeing it there's like a visual stimulation happening when you're reading it there's an auditory stimulation happening when you hear yourself reading it out loud and then again there's the read, saying it out loud part of it uh, so that helps with memorization but what i did was personally that i would summarize each paragraph into one bullet point and write it next to each paragraph throughout my writing so before bivers and before the written exams it helped me a lot to go through the entire book again because when it's something you've written and i know there are a lot of resources available from other people who've put in the effort and you might think that's okay if someone else has put in the effort for you but personally i feel like if you've written it yourselves so it's going to be a lot easier for you to you know because you uh, you just read one word that you've written and you remember the entire thought process you went through while you were writing it so that helps a lot and secondly i i can't believe i'm saying this and dr faraz is probably going to be really mad at me for saying this but uh, there's this book called for those you know and as a first year student i was very much prejudiced against it but second year people will understand me and first year people will get it when they come into second year because second year ki physiology is far beyond first year ki physiology it's a lot longer there are a lot more of concepts renal itself if you lambia and then there's the cvs and then there's neurophysiology so it's it's a lot of work so what i ended up doing was ke basically na first year ke i had the exact same issue because i was not referring to figures ke it is uh, while i was able to put in the work and read my guide and i could not for the life of me recall you know like exam setting and they just want you to write four bullet points i remember there was this question from the immunity topic and i was uh, expected to write some six bullet points or something and i could not for the life of me you know like i had the entire concepts but i did not know how to simmer it down to six points in the profit written examination and when i walked out somewhat sad about not being able to uh, come up with the proper answer or at least a, an answer i was satisfied with uh, a lot of my peers coming out for like it as it is for those me likha hua tha so you know like the paper was easy and for me that was a difficult question that is when it occurred to me that while gaitin might be a very good book to give you good concepts it does not do very well at summarizing the stuff because if you are provision kar rahe hote ho na when you read a bullet point you all by that time any decent student i should assume would be able to recall the concepts behind it the, the work that you have to put into your gaitin should happen long before the prof season starts but jo for those pe cheez hai na you read gaitin and then you read for those so it helps you collect the concepts into a list or into you know like tabulated forms and stuff that is easier to recreate uh in a written examination especially with the saqs and even in the mcqs it sometimes does help because there are a lot of definitions and stuff in gaitin gaitin ka masla basically ye hai ke uh, you know there are a lot of discussions happening in gaitin for example i know second year students to hote hain normally they do not read uh uh the concepts behind the formation of an ecg like we know how to interpret an ecg but what does each rise and each fall in the line actually represent uh, and i know there are like i, I feel like it's one long chapter in gaitan and nobody actually goes through it the gaitan has a lot of um, discussions that i do encourage you people to read but a lot you know like if you try going through all of it before prof it is going to be troublesome for you so read gaitan try to summarize it as much as you can first year mein i did this thing where i would write it down write summarize each paragraph into a bullet point and write it next to the paragraph and i just read all of those bullet points before the exam and it was helpful especially in vivas because vivas ke andar uh, for those of you who haven't had an experience yet second year walon ko kuch idea ho gaya hoga it's not as simple as you think it is you don't just go in and get asked um, you know like definitions and stuff khas tar pe external examiners have uh, sometimes jo hote hain na basically uh like i don't know with me it's always been the external examiner that asks the weird questions but you know like uh they'll give you a pen and ask you to draw a graph and even something as simple as uh you know like the ventricular pressures during uh, systo- systole and diastole i actually had trouble you know like being able to explain that graph and that that is the kind of stuff you can only know if you've read gaitan so for people only relying on gaitan the written exam becomes somewhat difficult especially the saq and for people relying entirely on for those they aren't able to uh, produce the knowledge as well in the vivas because the vivas tend to be more conceptually oriented second year kinder i did this crazy thing which uh, you know as you move forward again in third year i found it increasingly hard to do is that i wrote my gaitan onto my fardos and again this is entirely a me thing and everybody has a different way of studying and you know like different mechanisms that help them uh, 
grasp the concept and be able to memorize it or recall it in an exam setting. But it really did help because renal and CVS are huge topics and it is absolutely impossible for you to look at them and not get intimidated. I'm not even talking about the actual task of it, but the sheer intimidation of it when you look at it, uh, you know, like two nights before an exam. So it's absolutely horrendous to look at 600 pages and realize that you have to go through all of it and be able to reproduce it in an exam that has very, very high stakes. So what I did was that I, you know, basically what is the benefit of this? The shorthand books are written as inspiration. So like 40% of knowledge is already there and then you can supplement it with knowledge from Gaitan itself and from other resources or other books that you might have, uh, you know, like come across or referenced. But second year, kinder, I had it a lot easier. Because some topics, like for example, uh, neuro, I would not suggest that you use any shorthand books. Neuro is rather complicated, and for second year people, neuro anatomy, when you study it properly, is not enough. So it is going to help you a lot with physiology. Because Guyton itself, if Guyton is the first book you're referring to for neuro anatomy, so it is not going to do you any good. Where the matter first year people ki, and, and thirdly, do the past papers. I know this is something that you feel like you don't have time to do, but in exam, ke andarna, there's only so many questions to go around and they're bound to repeat questions. Uh, especially when it's the same examiners, it's the same set of professors in most of the colleges for most of the time that are making the exams. So uh, questions do tend to get repeated. So whatever you do, the easier way to do it, which might be late for some people who are about to appear on the prof, I am not exactly sure about the date sheets, but I assume the prof is just around the corner for a lot of you. So, but now the easier way to do it for, for first year students, you can do it next, uh, make it a habit next year, uh, is to refer to the past papers uh, right uh, before your class tests. When you're having class tests, just go through the um, past papers first and anything you would have done differently or anything you had trouble with, highlight it. Because again, itne sare past papers hote hai, you don't have time to go through all of them before prof, but you can go through the ones that stood out to you as difficult or um, troublesome or simply you know like sometimes you're approaching a question in uh, an entirely different manner sometimes there are mcqs with calculations and stuff again for second year you know like uh, uh, renal ke andar, there are some questions aapke paas gfr ke aur is ki ke aate so sometimes you don't understand how you're supposed to approach that question so going through the past papers really does help and um, i guess that is all i had to say about it so again, it does get easier and you know like once you're done with it now that I look back upon it it's like it, it seems easy and I know I'm currently you know uh, whining myself about my own subjects in third year but I know I'm going to feel inshallah feel better about them once I get into fourth year so don't get intimidated by it the most important thing in any subject in any exam or frankly speaking anything you're doing in life comes down to nerves so you just have to beat your nerves so basically what happens is that I understand uh, I'm not well, I kind of was, but I'm not going to sit here and say that I was the perfect student. You, you guys can refer to Dr. Faraz for opinions on that. But uh, what I'm trying to say here is that a lot of us have this habit of, you know, like turning towards our books in the last three months before prof. And I don't condone it. Like, in, uh, 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 let's just state it as a fact. Let's just agree to upon the fact that that is what happens for a lot of us. So like, don't get scared by it. You know, even if it's 1300 pages, take it one, you know, like topic at a time and just be consistent. Because uh, once you start to open a book now and you realize, ke, for example, it's 15 chapters, I feel it's like 15 chapters for renal physiology, so that can seem intimidating. But do it one at a time. Or guiding the chapters, frankly speaking, are not long. They're like, what, 10, 15 pages a chapter. So if you just sit through it and read it once, Especially for the people who are going to go to get into second year, you know, like after the prop, because if you have prop, you might not have time to do this. But, you know, like I heard someone say this once, I'm not going to say who it was, some people will know, that, uh, you know, like uh, I was talking to someone about the Quran and they were like, hey, you should keep reading it again and again and again, because every time you read it, you get something new out of it, because that is uh, a miracle of the book that Allah has sent down for us. And someone jokingly said that, you know, like, the Quran to Allah Ta'ala ki taraf se humare liya aya. So, aap the guidance bhi do dafa pad lo, to you always get something new out of it. So, inshallah, best of luck with your exams and I hope this was helpful. And, uh, you know, like, feel free to reach out to your seniors if you ever do have problems because we've been in your shoes before. And you'd be surprised by the amount of, uh, I'm sure aap loonga ke paas apne bhi tarikhe shortcuts and stuff hoti hai. Like, and it's always nice to look upwards uh, towards people who have had those experiences. 
So, inshallah, best of luck with your exams and uh, I hope the examiners don't give you a hard time on the virus because uh, I, I don't know about, well, it's different for everyone, but I personally find uh, virus to be very intimidating. It's not the written exam that's difficult. I personally have a very hard time sitting in front of an examiner and having to admit that I don't uh, know the answer to a question. Most people just say, sorry, you know, like, and I've never done that. I just sit there and pretend like the answer is coming. And sometimes I genuinely know that it's not. But uh, we should try to put in as much effort as we can to ensure that we do not end up in a situation where we're sitting in a formal exam and do not know the answer to a question. Because usually, you know, like, it's not out there. If you think about it, if you read it conceptually, everybody, everything does make sense. Koi bohot, like minute details and values have to be so this is already, I can see the timer here, it's already 16 minutes long and uh, I believe Dr. Faraz's exact, uh, exact words were brief, brief as you know, like he would use air quotations, so I'm not exactly sure if the stance has brief, but I have somewhat of a talking problem, so yeah, it's come to 16 minutes, so best of luck and well, feel free to ask any more questions you might have to any one of your seniors, we're all willing to help you. Thanks.